SketchUp is one of my favorite CAD programs, but most people don't realize that alongside the pro version, it's also a free version that anyone can use. The di difficulty that most people have is finding it. So that's what I want to do in this uh, video is show you how to find the free version of SketchUp, how to log in, and then what you can do with it. So how do we find SketchUp, uh, especially the SketchUp for web, which is the free version of SketchUp? Um, it can actually be a little bit confusing to find. So what we're looking for is SketchUp.com, but I actually find it's a lot simpler just to type SketchUp for web start modeling, and it should uh, bring this up for you. So that's what we're looking for, SketchUp for web. There are other ways to uh, find it, but that I think is the, the fastest way is literally type SketchUp for web. <laughs> um, and then you will come to this uh, part of the web page and it's this button here that we want to press, which says start modeling. You will be now prompted to create an account. So go ahead and do that. You'll need your email address and obviously a password and you will, um, well, first of all, create a Trimble ID. That's what it's asking you to do. So click on that and you will go through the process of um, uh, starting uh, your, uh, like creating an account. Um, once you have an account, just type in here um, and you will uh, have to type in your email address and then your password. I'll show you what happens when we type that. So once you log in, then you'll see that we have this little dashboard. There won't be anything in your dashboard, so that's okay. Um, but this is what it looks like when you have some projects there. And this is it. I think the main thing to remember is that um, we aren't downloading any applications to uh, our computer. It's on the web browser. I, as you can see here, I'm using Microsoft Edge. I could have used my Google um, or Safari if you're on a, well, you can uh, use Safari or any other web browser. I usually make a choice to uh, download a separate browser uh, because I use my Google for day-to-day -day use. There's a lot of web pages open and I want to keep them open because I like returning back to those. And having a lot of web pages open can slow down your model because you're using the same web browser. So that's why I prefer having, uh, well, using SketchUp in a standalone web browser, for example, like Microsoft Edge, and it works just as good as it does in Google. So um, that's just something to think about if you are like me and have a lot of things open and want to not mess with your day-to-day -day browsing on your um main web browser, try and use Google um, SketchUp, sorry, uh, Trimble SketchUp, it used to be Google, um, try and use SketchUp on a separate web browser. So uh, that just makes things a little bit neater moving forward because then you know you're only ever using it on this one browser and this is for modeling. So you can see here, this is a big model of a project. Uh, it's a commercial project and it's the reason why I chose to use SketchUp for this project is because I was creating a lot of bespoke furniture with curves and in a lot of 3D programs, creating bespoke or custom furniture requires a lot more technical knowledge than it does in SketchUp because it's quite simple to do in SketchUp. And um, that's why it's such a fabulous program because you can see here, there's a lot of like little bits and pieces that I just wanted to test out. Um, and just get ideas for and it was really easy and simple to create those so um, it was the, really quite the best um, application to use. So how do I use SketchUp uh, and uh, well, specifically for projects? Well if you um, have a look here, I'm, I'm looking at this from the top view. Well, let me just actually close this. I'll come over here to my tags. In some applications, these are called layers, but um, or you might know them as layers if you've used any other CAD programs. But these are really useful because, as you can hear, see here, I've got one called Ceiling Reflected Ceiling Plan, which is RCP. If I turn those off, all the layers start to turn off. If I turn off my mini golf, um, that becomes a little bit of a faster model because that geometry is actually 
the geometry in the tree really slows down this model because there's a lot of, you can see there's thousands and thousands of little um, pieces. And here as well, we've got um, a lot of photos uh, repeated, 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 repeated. So these kinds of things can slow down your model. But um, there's no reason why you can't build a, a, a complex model or a relatively complex model without your um, uh, computer or web browser slowing right down. Um, it's usually just checking the file sizes and then just knowing how to maneuver because, um, for example, if I wanted to start now drawing, I would turn off that mini golf. Um, uh, I would turn off the mini golf tag because it just speeds everything up and then I can, for example, just start editing without, um, without too much trouble. And that just makes things a lot faster. Whereas if I had that tag on, uh, it would just have slowed everything down. So you can see here, I've got a 2D layer. I draw in 2D as well as in 3D. So this is the 2D CAD layer. I can turn that off. And so you can't see all the little bits and pieces. Oh, that should be on the 2D CAD layer. <laughs> so um, yeah, so it, it turns all of those bits and pieces off that I was um, drawing in 2D. Um, I always have people in my models just to get a sense of scale and proportion because it really helps me to just see what something looks like when I'm building it and um, whether it's big or small because drawings can be quite deceptive, especially 3D drawings. and it can be uh, just a really useful, very simple thing to do. You can see I've got, I think it was Ty, was it Ty who, that, that was the name of um, the SketchUp man or person uh, who we put in. Uh, every new version of SketchUp has a new person. So um, you can just use the default person. And what else can I show you here? Let's turn everything on. I'll turn my RCP on, then I get the ceiling beams. And you can see just adding the complexity by turning it on and off the layers just means that um, you've got all of the information there. So I'm just going to turn off the mini golf so that I can don't slow all this down. Coming back to my scenes here, and you can see here, once I click on it, there we go, it pops up. There's quite a lot of scenes. I've actually, I had 46, I think. I had to cut them down just to um, get them uh, to work well in this model uh, on this uh, presentation. But the way I work is I usually set up a scene and I've just double clicked on one and it will take me to a scene. And I can, instead of um, constantly maneuvering, I can set my scenes and just go to the exact spot that I was looking at back again and then I can um, manoeuvre back again. Because in most of the areas or most of the models that you're going to be creating, there will be uh, one room or well, multiple rooms and it can be a little bit difficult to get from one area to another, especially when you're trying to zoom in and zoom out, um, like flying through space with your mouse. So setting up scenes is very useful and then you can just uh, you can name them by rooms. Obviously, this was the commercial space, so I named them by zones. And then um, that was just a useful way to um, see different parts of my model. I also use these models to start to create my uh, technical design and construction information. So I d develop it. So I do my detailed and developed design in SketchUp as well as my construction information in SketchUp. And that really just means especially for projects like this that have a lot of finishes and um, if there's a lot of things in the way it can get really confusing as to what you're seeing so these are my construction sections um, obviously without notes but um, you can see how uh, detailed and how much easier it is to see what's happening here in a 3D view or in a flat 3D view that's been turned into a section rather than drawing that up from scratch in a way that I would with AutoCAD or if I was only using 2D. So SketchUp is great in that way that it really just allows you to just um, create really simple quick models and um, add finishes and then from those finishes 
you can um, maneuver around and set your scenes and then obviously edit as you go. So you can see here, here's a smaller model. This is usually how I would use SketchUp um, on a small project or a domestic project, literally room by room. Um, I do have larger models that I uh, create per floor. So um, both of the models that I've showed you are only single floor, but I do do models with multiple floors. Uh, it is I am in England after all, and we do live vertically. So um, uh, floor above floor, usually I what I would do is um, copy a floor above and then create a whole new tag that has that floor above. So I could turn that floor off and then just view the floor below or above. And that's really useful because um, your models can get quite complicated and you can import models into other models um, and create blocks and things. So uh, I can edit all of these elements and um, uh, make, for example, I can make this taller. In that case, I'll just pull it up. So that's that might want, if I want to move this above. Let's let's go up by one hundred. A little bit taller. And you can see you can start editing your things. So that is creating a bespoke little um, uh, coffee table or um, just adding furniture. So all of these you can add in from um, uh, the warehouse. You can edit blocks and groups that are already existing in your models. Um, you can obviously edit everything and add images to your walls and then add um, uh, certain colors. We can do those if I just close this. Um, where are some materials? If I click on materials, I can add a texture to this wall and there you can see it's really easy just to um, just completely change a SketchUp model, importing bespoke or custom um, images for things like rugs and uh, marbles for fireplaces or coffee tables or other pieces of furniture. It's just a really simple program and that's the beauty of it. You can just uh, literally draw a rectangle and you push and pull it and there it is it's 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 almost it can work almost as fast as you can think it which is really useful because um i just when i first started using it i hadn't i had been using um uh well AutoCAD, I had used VectorWords, ArchiCAD, I had used so many other programs and applications that um, made modeling so much more difficult or more complicated than it needed to be. And the beauty of SketchUp is you can really do some complicated things without actually um, needing that much knowledge or technical ability in SketchUp. And I think that is what's really fantastic about the application. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you can see why I love SketchUp so much. If you want to learn how to use the free version of SketchUp, we've got a course on that on in our um, InterDesign platform. So check that out in the link below this video.